Let's hook an agent. This is the procedure you do in order to make Outlook connect to our C2 framework. First off, you can see I have splitted my terminal into two parts where I have the bottom part just tailing the uh, log file and the top part is the console. The reason I'm doing this is because not everything will be outputted in the console itself. So you need to look at the log files when, when the agent is checking in and, and so on. So in order to list out the agents, you can just type the agents word and press enter. It will list out any agents you have running. As you can see, no agents running. In order to hook an agent, you use the, the command generate hooker that will generate a reg file that you can use to import on an agent or sorry, on a Windows client to, to get the agent running. So it spits out uh, one for each version of Outlook. Normally you just need the top one here, uh, the uh, 16.0. And the only interesting value is actually this one here. That's basically all you need, but this also make sure everything runs better with setting the security yes and these uh, other settings at the bottom here just make sure that the internet zone is correctly configured so we don't experience any active x issues along the way uh, we have seen that on engagement so this is something we added along the way during the last three years so gonna copy this out uh, go move on to our windows client create a new file on just on the desktop here as a demo it's called this registry.reg. Uh, right click the file, press edit, paste in the file. Uh, I'm going to remove the, the auto versions I don't need. Save it, uh, close it. Uh, and just to show that there's no special things going on here, I can just start out the first. You can see there's just, a, just an empty mailbox. Uh, it's not connected to, to Specula in the backend yet. Um, so I'm going to open up the registry file, answer yes. And then adding this to the registry, I will answer yes. And that is it. It is now hooked into Specula, uh, but it only starts to communicate when we have stopped and start Outlook. That's because it needs to read the registry values we have added. So if we go into regedit, just to verify that it has been added, uh, we can go into uh, into this path here, current user software, Microsoft Office 16 Outlook web view, browse to the inbox, and you can see the URL is set to the URL we are expected. So let's close Outlook and start it up again. And it should now be hooked to our Specula C2 framework. And you can see at the back screen here, something is happening. On the agent or in the client, nothing is happening. The user cannot see any difference at all. So I can just minimize this and we can work from the console. You can see inbound gets and uh, validation checks. So it's rendering an HTML page and it's checking if it's in the database or not. Uh, if it's not, it will register it. And it's writing every output to um, to a file in a subfolder called agent data. So if I now in the console type agents, I now have an agent uh, listed. It is not approved yet. Uh, I need to manually approve that because I set the check-in count to zero. Uh, every time it checks in now, uh, every 30 seconds, it will increase the check-in to with one. So if I do agents again, it has now done two check-ins. Let's approve the agent so we actually can do some uh, things on it. I'm just going to do approve agent and then the ID, which is one. And you can tap complete everything. So if I press enter on the next callback, it will change out or it will first generate an encryption key and then it will change out the uh, URL on the host itself. Um, so it's going to take a few check-ins before that happens. So at this part of the video, I'm going to fast forward. Now that the uh, encryption key is sent, uh, the view on Outlook should have changed on the agent side. So if I go back to the Windows client, we can see that it changed the view from the inbox to the calendar. The reason we're doing this is because in the background, when the, when the, red, when the uh, encryption key got sent over, it wrote a new URL here. So if I press F5, 
it changed it to CSS and then the full agent URL it will use to communicate. This is a unique URL for each agent that will connect to Specula. The encryption key is specified here. So this is the encryption key it will use. It's just a simple encryption key, but it will do its purpose for what we are using it for. So it changed to calendar view. And as soon as I change back to the inbox, it will pick up this URL. So if I do press the inbox again, you see here that it connected and it's now a fully agent. That means we can now go back here and press agents and type agents and we can see that it's approved. It has an encryption key set uh, and it's fully functional. When it's fully functional, we can actually start to use modules. So that's it. That's how you approve an agent.